everyone. I'm Alison Nash and we're here at Sweet Pea Headquarters and I'm here with my friend Martin. Hello everybody. Uh, we've got some really exciting news for you today. We've... Very excited about this, <laughs> like itchingly excited. It's exciting to be able to offer it to you but we're actually even more excited that we just get to use it ourselves, <laughs> <laughs> I think. So we have uh, introduced our own range of stabilizers. I'll explain what they are later. And we also have our own batting. Yes. So. So quite exciting, really. So we've, it's been a long process, hasn't it? It's very been a long, long process long. of just getting the goods together that we want to use in our products. Yeah, yeah. and we have to so, test them and everything. So we've obviously. had to test them, and we have tested lots of different varieties, and then we've finally come up with what we think is the best for what we do. As I always say to everyone, that now that we're selling hard products, it didn't. There doesn't seem to me to be any point in bringing out a product that's just the same yes. as what's yep. already on the yep. market. Yep. So if we didn't think that these were better, I honestly would not have. No, ordered. there's there's no there's a, there's no point in doing that because there no. was a, there was there's plenty out in the market. And we have a, a reputation as well. Yes, of being the highest quality machine embroidery design. Absolutely. So, and so we wanted a product which we wanted to be able to be find joyful to use. That's one of the most important yep. things. So, so let's just have a look what we're, we're, we're doing. So we've actually got our first one here is called um, Bag Tech. So this is a, this is a, um, a stiff uh, interlining which goes in between your batting and your stabiliser. And what it does is it gives the, the, uh, the bag a little bit more rigidity. Ooh. Okay, so it's not... It's not um, lightweight. It's not cardboardy. It still has no, no. a soft touch to it, there, but it means that it's not going to collapse. That's right. Okay, so perfect for, the, for bags. Perfect for bags, but still has that softness. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't want it rigid. Well, actually, the if it's too rigid, it's not just how it looks. It's, it's also harder to sew oh, and get your seams to sit flat and all that sort of thing. Absolutely, it's so harder to handle with hands as well. So, but but this has been a, this has been great, and it's non-shrink, um, and can't wait to start using it. It's going to be lovely in bags and wallets and yeah. all sorts of things that you want to have a little bit of of um, firmness to. So that's what that's one of our exciting zooming new products. Zooming in on the details there. So that's bag techs, and then we have our our um our own version of our featherlight. So it's called a featherlight um, stabilizer. So it's a very very oh. very very light um, stabilizer to go into. It's called light as a feather. Light as a feather, and so that's great behind blocks, etc. And there's no weight to it in there, but it's nice and firm as far as there's no stretch involved with it so mm. your blocks will stay the same shape yeah um easy to hoop but just light what about ironing and washing and all that sort of they stuff? are just the, like like our um uh our cl like cloth when you when we deal with the cloth they they don't shrink they can take up to a well, I would say a hot wash, but I would say a warm, a warm yep. hand wash. Yep. Um, they can be go through a machine, they can go through a spin, spinner. And that's so important yes. because that's what you would most likely use on a quilt. Yes. So we use just a standard cutaway normally on table runners and that sort of thing because they don't need to be soft because they're not oh. against your skin. But when you need something soft, we've experimented over the years, haven't we, Martin? We have, with yep. um, other soft mesh type uh, stabilizers with calico it's also, hard to get something that doesn't stretch it is very hard it's called stabilizer yes and keep... when it goes in your hoop it has to stay still so yep. this one this has got no stretch whatsoever. in either direction so therefore it stays quite but quite still firm stays soft in the hoop and stays soft because when it's washed it even goes one more grade softer yeah that's actually so, true which is we which is that. really really good and um yeah, we want it to be soft. We want it to be soft, but manageable to use. We don't want it to be stretchy at all. No, not that, one that's bit. always been. And we definitely trick. don't want it to shrink. No, definitely not. No. So you did some tests on that. Did some didn't tests you? with that. We did some tests on some different, um, different just uh, blocks and put them together like like the mini quilts. And so we did it with, we did it with a combination of our batting. Batting. So let me just ask you. Which quilt would you prefer? <laughs> I want the soft, well, look the at soft the, drape. Look yes. At, and actually, I've just noticed something too, Martin. You've just grabbed these. They've been folded. They've been on your folded desk. up in a bag. Uh, yes. And look how that crease is all there. And then, as I said, I can tell which is ours 
because yep. it's, you've had that folded too. Yep. Yeah. So that just shows you how soft it is. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is just a, a, a low loft um, needle punch batting, and it comes in pieces, and they come in Ziploc bags like this. Yeah. And so it's got a nice thickness to it. Now it is a viscose, so it breathes. Mm -hmm. It is a viscose, and nice to use in the hoop, easy to cut. Um, it's good for the environment. Good for the environment. It's because it's a natural product. And um, very, very soft, I lovely I, handle. I wish I could get everyone to feel it. <laughs> no, honestly, because you just want to touch it. Well, when people talk about, when they talk about um, uh, products having a silky finish or yes. a, silky, a silky feel, quite often they're, they're talking about viscose, Vis there, but they don't know what the name of it is. So yeah. rayon and viscose fibres there are... Are, are very soft and very very silky. Yep. But these viscose, when they're needle punched, and they, are, they don't shrink and they, are, and they don't fall to bits. So don't worry about them evaporating within your work because they won't do that. That's so right. So they'll wash well over the. But we can't last wait. Lot, many many years. We can't wait to get started with this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we really can't. Because we haven't had enough to make a whole large quilt, have we? No, so we, we haven't. Have we've just had to. We've had to use what we can, we could. that we've made. Um, yeah. Well, when you do lots and lots of testing, you don't realise how much you go through. Yeah. I mean, as we did have meters and meters of it, but by, by the time you've tested it, washed it, yeah. made sure it didn't. Shrink. And we had to test quite a few of them yeah. as well. Yeah. So. It sort of when it came down to this one well because everyone treats their products in different ways mm -hmm. so um so this is this was fun to do and they are very excited about it love the handle so what, what problems do people normally have with batting it's mainly well, shrinkage shrinkage is not quite so much the pro problem yeah. um um when it comes to battings, you quite often the ones that have a low loft and they are, are quite hard because they've been punched yeah. and jammed together. And it it makes them stiff and cardboardy. Yeah. So to get a soft handle, it means you've got to have a high loft. Well, high loft's no good for applique. No, no. It's just no good for applique. Great if you're going to running it through a um, uh, a quilting machine. Yeah. Because you can sandwich it and roll That's it and right. as you go, but yeah. not when you're doing it in blocks. No. So you want something which is going to be easy to handle, it's going to be easy to spray, it's got a bit of a texture so it doesn't move when the hoop either, so yep. it stays put. So yep. very excited about, about this actually. Oh, yeah, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I've asked Diana every single day. And we've had this in the works for yet? so long, and everyone's always in the <laughs> Facebook group is saying, what batting should we use? What, what's a nice stabiliser for quilts? And we haven't been able to say it's really. Very have we, so. Well, we haven't, been able to tell, we haven't been able to tell them that we're doing ourselves. We no. haven't been able to tell you because we just didn't know what our timeline was. Mm. But it's very, very hard when we're in one continent and you're in another. And so yeah. what brands we buy here are different, um, anyway. are different anyway. And we, we support a local Australian brand there, yeah. which is not readily available overseas. Yeah, and so with that as well, uh, we'll be getting this up onto the website as soon as we can or they may have already managed to just do that but it probably will take a little longer to release uh, in the US which also ship to the rest of the world yes, yeah. we've received it out our warehouse in Australia so we'll be able to ship to Australia and New Zealand to start with and then we'll we'll have announcements and let you know when it will be available for the rest of the world and also when we open our new showroom <laughs> all our Brisbane guests and everything will be able to come and purchase uh, the stabiliser and that. And actually last night I was doing a little exercise. I wanted to see, I know that we're very close to the airport here. Mm -hmm. So I've done a little map showing that how far we are from the domestic airport. Mm -hmm. We've got the international terminal. They're yeah. all only a few kilometres away. And then we have the we're domestic so cruise terminal. We're right on the M1 freeway, which goes to the Sunshine Coast and the Gold Coast. Yes. I actually impressed myself. We're very, very close to yeah, all the... Yeah, so all the, anyone who actually fly, comes, uh, has a, a port on their cruise, as Brisbane will easily have time oh, to course. come and visit and us. Oh, of the port as well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. forgot about that. Yes, yeah, so anyway. So there we go, ideal location. Yep, so I hope when you try it, you're all as excited as now, we are. The, this um, is... Um, these are in... Uh, and cut pieces rather than oh, that's roll. Right. It's really, really hard to decide how you're going to handle this because we put a lot of thought into it, didn't we, Martin? We just decided that it would be best to actually have it as a. Um, so this is the size here, James. It's 63 inches by 120 inches, or 160 centimeters by three meters. meters. And I asked Paul Martin to do lots and lots of calculations <laughs> to come up with the bet. We needed something that 
you could do a queen or a king yeah. by using it certain ways. And maybe we'll even put that information I on the website we should, somewhere yeah. and we'll explain to you how you can use those dimensions to do that. Because ship, shipping this, we were worried about having a, a roll of it. You didn't want, you wouldn't want a roll that was only like 20 inches long. Yeah. You'd need to have something which is easier to cut up. It has to be much longer than it's way too expensive it's to way ship too expensive because of the long ship, tubes. So. If it's on tubes, so we thought to ourselves, a flat pack like this will be ideal and it also gives you something to be to put it back into. That's right, there's a cloth bag. There's a cloth bag. So you're not going to lose it everywhere. And of course if you like it rolled, you could always roll it at home and keep it that way. But, but because it that's doesn't because have... it'll sit in a cupboard nice and flat. Well it doesn't have a firm, firm crease, so mm. that's yes. ideal. Yep. Absolutely ideal. Anyway. So another thing, so we, we, we have a, a tear away. I was which is... finished. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we haven't. We have a tear away which is um, very, it's very light, uh, but it's, it's, um, got a nice handle to it and it holds together very very well there's enough rag in it to actually hold together with quite a nice satin stitch so happy with that so and it's light enough to use one or even two layers yeah yep so because the, the, they're the, the main qualities aren't, aren't they you don't want them you, to be getting cut by your stitching no. and falling out of your hoop. perforation and tear away stabilizers are the biggest enemies yeah but yeah. but you also need it to tear but you do need it to so. tear without leaving a rag behind so yep. that you've, it's nice clean tear yep, so then we have tear uh, we have a, a medium weight um cutaway um which is our which is our uh, mid-weight stabilizer and this is lovely and the thing that we love about it the most is that there is no stretch in either direction at all <laughs> which which is so important because it keeps your blocks square it stops your blocks from going into an hourglass shape hate that absolutely yeah. loathe that yeah. um so this is going to be fun what for about us to ironing use as well. and washing as well. ironing and washing the same there um hot hand wash there can machine wash um it doesn't shrink under under it um, melt? no doesn't melt which is which is what we want we want I it to don't. be stable <laughs> there and then last last but not least there we have a lovely light wash away um now this was, is magic <laughs> this is magic because as soon as it touches water it's just gone it's, you don't there's, you don't have to manhandle it to get all the glue out it just yeah. goes which is great so over the years we've already come to the realization that a, a fabric style mesh yes oh sorry wash, wash away is much better than the plasticky yes. wash away they're just not strong enough and they stretch too much so we have been using a type of this yes. for years well we the thing is is that this this could be used as a topper as well as a stabilizer yep. there because it's fine enough. Yep. Um, but you want to use it as a topper means that you're supporting some 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 text or some real delicate yep. um, stitching that you don't want to sink into a fabric. You're right because it's not as light as some solubles that I no. felt, is it? Actually, it's, it's, we've used them in the decorations. So too. yeah. So you want so with a combination of so so we we use. Um, our wash away and our bag stiffener to get things like our um, our little ornaments which we're going to be washing out. Um, so nice degree of of stiffness in them so as they don't curl when they're Because in these you, uh, you cut away the stabiliser and then just put it in water. Put it in water and, and it goes. It'll be gone. So this one here, and the, the thing about this is that you want it to be able to come out quite easily there yeah, because like for this instance, we've got two layers of PU, mm. very hard to get a stabilizer out of two layers of PU. Yeah. But especially if you've got it back in front because there's nowhere for it to go. Yeah, because this is called a freestanding ornament and yep. there's lots of things that you can make that use freestanding components, isn't it? So we can make them zeros. <laughs> For you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our, our our lovely range. We're so excited to release it to you all. Yeah. Um, we really we really are, and we have worked hard over the last. Oh God, it's been, it's 20, probably been 12, twelve months. Twelve months, yeah, yeah. and and it's it's been a. Can't a real, rush anything like this. You so. can't because you've got to keep on going, toing and froing, and toing and froing to get mm. what you want, and so we're happy. We can't wait to start using it. This is like everything anyone now. would need, so I hope you enjoy it. Yep. Thank you. Bye.